problem I have with marriage as it is done currently here in the West and in other places, but certainly the, the, the clay in which I work is that there are certain promises the law can enforce and there are certain promises it can't. What the woman duties are enforceable by, enforceable by law, but a man's duties are enforceable by law. Right. So you can't. So he's basically saying is the woman's duty is like to have sex with her, her husband. And he can't force her to do that. But the law can force a man to pay for her, her, her living expenses. The house, the car. Yeah, you know I mean? Hey, so it's like, everybody, I don't agree take with that. in that situation. I, I wish it was a law to be like this. Yeah, the law says you got to give me Gucci Ooh. every Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> we got a divorce attorney that explains why marriage offers no benefits for men. Ooh, rough. Shall I explain that again? <laughs> Why marriage offers no benefits for men. What the hell are you looking at me for? You're a resident female. <laughs> <laughs> you would like your input. <laughs> it's Bitch Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. The key problem I have with marriage as it is done currently here in the West and in other places, but certainly the, the, the clay in which I work is that there are certain promises the law can enforce and there are certain promises it can't. So if we acknowledge, the, if we say the quiet part out loud, that in the majority of heterosexual marriages, the man brings protection and providing and the woman brings kindness, warmth and care, right? And sex. That's the economy. That's the economy. I didn't make that up. Don't get fucking mad at me in the comments. I didn't make it up. It was here before me. It's going to be here after me. I promise, right? So that's the game. That's the economy. His roles, his obligations are enforceable by law. So state power can be used to enforce his obligations, not hers. The court cannot order her to be nice to him or to fuck him or to stay pretty or to stay sweet and friendly to him and kind to him or speak nicely of him or raise the children in a in a meaningful way that, you know, uh, creates value to him instead of teaching them to disrespect him. Right. But his promises in that shelter food, financial obligations, court can force you to do that. And if you don't do it, they can put you in jail or they can take away your driver's license, your professional licenses. So what is that? When you have a contract where only one side is enforceable by law under penalty of law, like that is a dangerous game to play if you're a man, period. Uh -huh. Keyword key word he said here is West. We are not in the West. We are, no, in, we the are in the West. We are yeah, we're in the Western Hemisphere. Look, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> That law does not apply to us. How you figure? I'm about to look that up right now. Yeah. How you figure? Because As a man, a man has to provide. A man has to protect. You know what I mean? I'm talking about taking away his licensure and all that other stuff. Child support? They can take your license away. If you're a doctor and you yeah. ain't you ain't pay, yeah, they can uh, pay your child support. Yeah, they'll take yeah, all they that. Take your, Give it up. Why would you have to pay child support if you're married? No, he's saying well, you they, say, no, they can still do it even even alimony. Yeah. Yeah, if you see, don't pay your alimony, about being married. No, no, my cousin, my cousin was married, and he, paid, so him and his, him and him, him and his wife were not together. She, uh, she filed for uh, child support. They got married, and he still had to pay the child support while they were married. And this is in Philadelphia, so they can still enforce that. Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's if you crazy. if you don't pay, if you don't pay your alimony, they, they listen. She can tap into your pension. Yep, she can. Well, they, yeah, they can take your your uh, see, investments. Your al yeah, I'm sorry. Your, he make it. He just your, makes it seem like the woman doesn't bring nothing to the table. He said only thing the wife brings is sex. No, 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 no. What he was saying is that what the woman duties are enforceable by, enforceable by law, but a man's duties are enforceable by law. Right. So you can't. So he's basically saying is the woman's duty is like to have sex with her, her husband. And yeah. can't force her to do that. But the law can force a man to pay for her, her living expenses. The house, the car. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, hey, boy, I don't agree with that. In that situation. I wish it was a law to be like this. Yeah, the law says you got to give me Gucci Ooh. every Tuesday night. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to bend it over. It looks like we're adding volume number seven to the collection. Because <laughs> I'm putting this on tape. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You got to bend it over. <laughs> What's yeah, the hell yeah. What? But see, that's why we have prenups. You got to put that shit in that prenup, man. It just, that's what I'm saying. People like people are so like taken aback about prenup. It's like, don't you got car insurance? 
You ain't never been in an accident. You done spent 152000 on car insurance that you've been driving. Hey, yeah, listen, but, dude, consider it dick insurance. <laughs> like, like yeah. but you got Pussy car insurance because you shit. never know. So it's the same thing. Like, you never know. Like, Steven Jackson left his wife. Uh, I mean, his his uh, fiance. Who else? There was a couple people that I just read that at, on the altar left their woman because... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I played the basketball. I worked out and did all of that. Now you think you could come along and take my money just whenever you feel like it because you got mad or you greedy or whatever it is. Let me say this. I think that, that a lot a lot of men don't don't go into marriage thinking that it's a business. Right. And you have to go into a marriage thinking this because it's, when, when you get the government involved. Yeah. That's a business, man. That's why you just made a business decision. That's why I always said that I was. Do you really even have to get married? Do you really have to have a marriage no. license, man, to, to be no. with somebody? I, no, you don't. I had a whole Zoom discussion with a whole bunch of people here in Philly. Some people was in Atlanta, and I kept saying, like, I'm not against marriage. I'm against Western marriage. Why do I have to go fill out a piece why of paper to put for somebody state, to tell me that this woman is my wife? Do. If this exactly. is supposed to be a spiritual thing, <clears throat> the only person that could tell me that this woman named my wife is God. None of y'all could tell me that. Oh, she don't have the same last name. What that got? To, what did I got? What do that mean? That means nothing to me. Oh, you wear a ring. What does that mean? Because it becomes a business. You're paying for a marriage license, right? Hell, to get divorced, you got to pay to get divorced, right? <laughs> Why does that make sense? <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I got to pay to do it and then pay to get out of it. What <laughs> uh, other than uh? Stostitution. <laughs> what do you pay for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, do you yeah. pay for to get in and out? Can you imagine? Can you imagine anybody? I'm gonna tell you right now. I've got guarantee you. Thirty years from now, we gonna have a sex tax. Right. A what? Where, a sex tax where you gotta Gosh. go. To, you gotta go to city hall. Condoms. <laughs> you gotta feel like shit. We did it thirty times this year. Yeah. Damn. Damn. You gotta I gotta, go to, you gotta pay, go to. I gotta pay two hundred dollars. You want to, you want to go to Mayor Sherelle Parker? Uh, can I get the uh, Trojan XL? She like, oh, I think you're a big dog, huh? Ninety six dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, goddamn sex tax, boy. Yeah, you can you imagine you telling your wife, hey, listen here, bitch, you gonna give me something tonight? Cause I pay for this shit. And she gonna be like, uh huh. But according to this contract right here, it say that Tuesday nights, um, I'm watching this joint podcast, and I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, boy, I'm telling you, yeah, don't do not get the government involved. With you. you don't have time, man. You ain't got to get no marriage certificate. You don't got to do all that. You can't. If this is yeah, under yeah. thing. You you think about it. The ceremony is in church, so that means it's under God. You can't tell me what I spiritually have with this woman under God that the, the government or nobody else can't tell me that I'm not married just because I don't got a piece of paper that says y'all be driving without license, y'all be having sex without condoms. So y'all do everything else wrong, but oh, when it comes to marriage, oh, I gotta, it gotta have a certificate, it gotta be signed. F up out of here. I want to hear nah, that. Nah, they want, they want that money. They want that money. I'm cool. You know what I mean? Shit. I'm I'm I tell you, but I'm, it's gonna be a sex tax, boy. They, you, look, you gonna have the police knocking on your door? Shit, listen here, buddy. You done raw dog three women <laughs> last year. You under arrest. Terquavion, uh, you under have, arrest for raw dog and women. <laughs> Terquavion, we have a warrant for your arrest. Uh, Shaniqua, <laughs> oh, shit, not Terquavion. They, they Terquavion. said that you were. Um, Terquavion shows up in everything. Listen, Terquavion <laughs> is that man. He that bull. You listen. You didn't. You we've seen that you were. Uh, at Fred's Water Ice, and you only bought a cotton candy. She said that you did her dirty. We're gonna need you to come on over here. Come with us. Come, come speak to us down at the Roundhouse. <laughs> well, let's go to a comment. So the first comment from Bess. Uh, it's like signing a contract where the other party gets rewarded for breaking it. Exactly. That's what we were talking about, T. You can't enforce a woman to do her wifely duties, but a man. If he stopped paying the bills of the household or y'all break up, yeah, they, they can enforce that. When you think about it, 80% of divorces are uh, are initiated by women. So you mean to tell me that 80% of the time the men are doing stuff that don't make sense? The numbers don't even make sense. 80% of the time the men, you're that unhappy? Come, that don't make sense. That's a, that, that shows you that a lot of them have, they may not have the intent up front. But they know that they got this joker in their back pocket yeah. to where if this don't work out the exact way that I want it, because a lot of, I'm not going to say a lot, a good amount of women, if you don't do stuff the exact way they want, they become, you know, upset. Oh, you didn't do this. It's like, bro, I don't have to do it exactly the way you want. <laughs> like, I, I told you, don't hit it like that. You know what? 
Divorce. <laughs> right. And now you That's in here. Point. Yeah, I ain't. So look, next comment from Maul Deuce. Maul Deuce says, all the young guys out here saying, nah, my girl's different. Now, I can speak to that because I had gotten to an argument with a friend of mine one time about prenups and divorces and everything. And the first thing out of his mouth was, well, you know what I mean? That, that's not my girl. I said, bro, I guarantee you. How long have you known this woman? Oh, uh, man. I mean, nah, dog. You can't take those chances, man. Listen. Now, I mean, listen, the prenups, prenups. Oh, yeah, I'm for prenup. When you go from living in Kensington and then <laughs> y'all started living in Jersey and she see how life changed. Oh, yeah. What? Guess what? <laughs> well, you, you, you think you're going to leave? <laughs> you think I'm going back to Kansas? Yeah, I'm going back to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never coming from no You think I'm going back to zombie land? Right. <laughs> Listen, Hell no. Nah. I'm living with my mom. It's 17 of us in a three bedroom apartment. You think I'm going back there? Huh? You're sadly mistaken. I Man. went from driving this um, SEPTA car uh, to this BMW. Not going back. Not, not going to happen. <laughs> so, next comment is from Philomath JP. Philomath JP says the problem is in marriage. It is government involvement in marriage. There it is. Man. I agree. He said what we were trying to talk about, man. You, know, you really, you don't have to get the government involved. You don't. They just, they just want a piece of the pie. Government says shit. Y'all want to y'all get married? Tax them. You want to smoke weed? Tax it. I, in the next 20, 30 years, cocaine going to be legal. And You're going to have cocaine dispenser. Every other license that you get, whether it be professional or personal, has an expiration date. You got to renew. So like, why I can't have you a, renew your I license? I have an OSHA license for construction. It, I have to renew it every certain amount of years. My cousin is a, a a doctor. She has to get her medical certifications every couple of We talk about everything. The only thing, only certificate that is till death do you part is for marriage. That don't make sense. Enough. That's setting you up for failure. It yeah. literally, because again, if you got married at, if you got married at 25, you're going to be a different person at 35. And guess what? The, the you're different definitely going to be a different person at 45, 55. If, and, mm-hmm. and, and you might just grow into two people that don't align. And that's okay. You should mm-hmm. be able to say, hey, listen, we, our, our, our lives, our values, our standards, whatever, they don't align anymore. We just go, you know, wipe our hands with it, go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. That should be it. You should get an email. You Do you want to renew your marriage? With this nah. <laughs> yeah, that joke come out. I was shopping around. <laughs> Listen, you said when? You said it ends on the 13th? Oh, damn, I get paid on the 15th. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We gonna, I'm we gonna, out. We're going to cancel that policy. <laughs>